and thank you for joining us here at Lancaster Safety. Today we're going to discuss how to implement a dynamic safety culture in your workplace. Getting all levels of your company involved in safety can be challenging, but safety affects each and every person within a business, so it's important that it is understood. Some obstacles that may be faced are lack of employee or management involvement, miscommunication, and fear of retribution. Today we'll be discussing ways to implement a positive and effective safety culture from top to bottom that best suits your business. Developing a strong safety culture has the single greatest impact on accident reduction of any process, and it's for this very reason that developing these cultures should be top priority for companies. So what is a safety culture and how will it impact my company? Safety cultures consist of shared beliefs, practices, and attitudes that exist in an establishment, but it starts with a full company commitment. The term culture refers to the atmosphere created by those beliefs and attitudes, which then in turn will shape our behavior. A good safety culture can benefit a company in more ways than executive management might even realize. Safe workplaces mean happier workers, which result in efficient production, which equals a greater bottom line. In addition to what we discussed on the previous slide regarding management and employee commitment, attitude and beliefs, the following factors will also result in an organization's safety culture. First, what are the values and myths, policies and procedures, supervisor priorities, responsibilities and accountability, production and bottom line pressure versus quality issues, actions or lack of action to correct unsafe behaviors, employee training and motivation, and employee involvement or buy-in. So as some of you might know, a great safety culture starts at the top. Owners and the executive management team have to begin by making the commitment to achieve a safe work environment. They already have a lawful duty to assess their workplace for hazards, so companies need to develop, implement, and maintain occupational health and safety procedures for each applicable OSHA standard. Now this isn't just a good idea or our opinion, but as OSHA would say, it's the law, so Crystal, what are some tips to start off the right way? So first you want to train everyone in the company on health and safety policies. Uh, you'll want to formalize a safety committee. And then lastly, you want to seek out a third party expertise such as Lancaster Safety. Now, even though sales isn't, most sa isn't in most safety professionals job descriptions, it can oftentimes become part of that description when it comes to convincing everyone to get on board with safety. For some people, safety is an obvious way to work but not everyone understands its importance. Here are three helpful selling points to help get your teams to believe. Number one, the moral ethical point. We don't want anyone to get hurt, do we? Now, who's gonna disagree with that? Legal, it's the law. We want to comply with the law, don't we? Lastly, the business point is, it costs less to be proactive versus reactive. We want to minimize expenses and maximize profits. Communication oftentimes can mean the difference between success or lack of success in the workplace. So when it comes to establishing health and safety expectations, try stating your policies before employees are even hired. The hiring process is a great time to bring up all expectations and will help your company get all new employees on board with safety from day one on the job. Also, you can ask new and existing workers to volunteer for a safety committee. You don't need everyone to volunteer, so be happy with who you can recruit for the committee. We have an entire webinar dedicated to establishing a successful safety committee, so you can check that out on Lancaster Safety's YouTube channel or contact us on our website for a free copy at www.lancastersafety.com. Now, what are some management processes that can be developed and improved upon? Well, you can define safety responsibilities for all levels of the organization. For example, safety is a line management function. You can develop upstream measures, Again, for example, number of reports of hazards slash suggestions, number of committee projects or successes, etc. Align management and supervisors through establishing a shared vision of safety and health goals and objectives versus production. Implement a process that holds managers and supervisors accountable for visibly getting involved, setting the proper example, and leading a positive change for safety and health. You can evaluate and rebuild any incentives and disciplinary systems for safety and health as necessary. And lastly, ensure the safety committee is functioning appropriately. For example, the membership, responsibilities and functions, authority, meeting, manage meeting management skills, etc. Okay, so for the logical steps, um, the first thing is, you know, direct guidance can be extremely helpful. Um, seek out professional help. 
A third-party safety consulting firm can jumpstart your safety program by conducting a one- to two-day on-site evaluation with a mock OSHA inspection. Secondly, lay out the foundation for a great safety culture by making sure that your company is in compliance with OSHA's laws. You want to develop written programs for each pertinent OSHA standard. Analyze the OSHA 300 illness and injury documents to help develop root causes of past injuries. You can also provide training on these standards for the entire workforce. Training workers helps them to realize that the employer cares and wants to do the right thing. Make sure you take proactive steps to improve processes to avoid future injuries. This shows workers that management cares about their safety. Again, lastly, lead by example. The workplace safety culture begins with management's own culture, attitudes, and actions. Again, we want to thank you for joining us today. Um, please like us on social media. You can see um, the different forms of social media that you can find us on on the screen. And then if you have any questions or want to set up an inspection, you can either go to our website at www.lancastersafety.com or call us at 888-403-6026. Thanks again. Have, have a, a safe, safe day. day.